Someone legit DM'd me and asked me if I could arm crawl. I'm paralysed where you stand, but if you ask, I will, deli <laughs> I will deliver. Army crawl, okay, th this is a new one. I don't normally get questions about army crawling, but I will show you what I can do at my best. Um, so the first step will be getting onto the floor. So to get on the floor, it's not the easiest to get straight on the floor. Normally I'd pick like a sofa or something just to make it just to make it easier. But <clears throat> yeah, so I am so I'm a T12 complete paraplegic, got no movement and no sensation below the last thoracic bone, which is T12. Uh, of my spine. Uh, my spinal cord was crushed, therefore I can't do out of movement, so there's nothing I can do to hold my leg up. I don't have the muscles, nothing's there anymore. It's basically just not there, so my legs will flop about and do whatever they kind of want to do. An interesting question, army crawling. See, so I'm like not very, I'm not skinny, obviously, I'm not skinny, I'm quite curvy quite like just broad bigger kind of um, girl so I'm not stick thin and this means that my legs look a lot more normal than paralyzed legs uh, so if you've got someone that is um, that is the weighs less than me you'll get you'll really see the atrophy but for me because I'm quite thick <laughs> Um, I, you can't really tell, this is kind of like normal size, but I think I've retained quite a bit of muscle purely from muscle spasms that I get, uh, that is part of spinal cord injury. So I think that's maybe why they look a bit bigger, but yeah, otherwise then it's just kind of fat and a bit of muscle, because uh, sometimes paralyzed legs literally look like sticks if you don't have much weight on you, but I've got weight on me, so yeah. Um, so an army crawl is one of those where I don't know what situation I would need to army crawl in and also an important thing as well is that my legs are quite heavy um, so I will be pulling the weight of my legs just with no um, just with no function in my legs so to get on my front pretty easy <laughs> now thing is, oh that's quite a good stretch, thing is it's hard to get full on, oh my back, oh, did you hear my back, um, god my back really needs a crack, oh, uh, but yeah to go on my front is relatively easy, um, I can tell my hips feel incredibly tense, like being paraplegically literally stuck in a seating position, um, all the time at 90 degrees, so you're always going to be kind of tense there, um, but to army crawl, I guess, I guess is as simple as this. So here you can see my little legs coming along with me. I guess I look a bit like something in The Walking Dead or something like that. But it's relatively easy, not really a big strain for me. Yeah, a bit of an odd question asking for an army crawl tutorial. But you know, gotta provide what my what my audience want and people are curious about all sorts of things. It's not the worst stuff out anyway. Um but yeah, it's normal to be curious. So I'll show you from this angle. So to get on my front, uh I put my leg like over like this and then I maybe and then I can crawl relatively actually it, it'd probably be quite a good workout. Almost like a cardio. Betty, do you want an army crawl with me? Yeah. Do you want an army crawl with mummy? Do you want an army crawl with mummy? Bet you're shedding loads now. It's annoying. So let's do another lap. I'm just exercise. What 
is this dog doing? She thinks I'm playing. You know what, I give up. <laughs> but it has to be the start of the show. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about uh, whether I can army crawl. I've never, <laughs> I thought it was quite funny when I got that question. I don't think there'll ever be disabled people in the army, so I think I'll be all right. Unless we get like some sort of robotic wheelchairs with guns attached to them, big wheelchair tanks that might be in the future, uh, and chucking themselves out wheelchairs to army crawl in the under things don't really see that as a possibility in the future <laughs> um but yeah i think a requirement to be in the army is maybe to be able to stand on two legs and do stuff and actually be you know active and not disabled but hey yeah so i hope i answered the question about whether paraclete is canonical i think it's very different for everyone everyone's gonna have different bodies different strengths different you know heaviness of their legs if you're really, really, really heavy, it might be hard to haul your body weight. If you're really skinny, it'll probably be easy, but you might cause yourself some damage, like, because um, I've got a bit of cushioning on me, so that's saving me when I'm on hardwood flooring. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, and uh, just so you know, my GoFundMe is still up. Uh, thank you so much to the GoFundMe donators. I, I couldn't be more honoured to um, get donations. It means the world to me. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited that things are being done now and we are doing what we can to adapt my home so I'm safe. Um, it's strange how, you know, not enough accessible homes are being built, yet they expect us to get an inaccessible, inaccessible home and pay for it ourselves to make it accessible. I just don't think that's right. I think accessible living should be like a right, not a privilege. But that's just me. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.